It's the tightest chase in history. The pressure has never been greater. Three drivers, two races, one cup. You know, track position here is very, very critical. Uh, so for myself, it's, uh, it's about going out there and trying to win the race. The road leads to Phoenix. Do you feel pressure or do you apply it? They're going to have to feed us now. It's on. Carl Edwards brings him down. The pace car is pulled off. And chase race number nine in the 2010 Sprint Cup is green. Carl Edwards is picking up right where he left off yesterday in the nationwide race. He's out in front. We talked about Kevin Harvick had to get up to the front. He had to get to the front. And Jimmy Johnson had to try and find a way to turn it around on Denny Hamlin today. As this race gets into its later laps, Ray, if you're the crew chief up there on the box and you've seen Denny leading and leading and leading and locking up those bonus points, does any desperation set in or do you just have to keep doing what you're doing? Well, this late in the race, you're sitting there thinking, all right, there's no way that I've got a car that can go up there and challenge this guy and take those points from him. So you're hoping for those late race cars that we talked about so you can try some kind of strategy, get track position, somehow help with the end of Kevin Harvick saying he lost all the front and rear grip on his car. Somehow hoping that, that the 11 gets mired in that traffic and you can get a break. As we said, it's very important that the 29 cut that point lead in half. And right now, he's actually lost rather than gained. Long green flag run. Again, we went back to racing at lap 106. We have not seen the caution since. Uh, we're going to see one now. <laughs> Robbie Gordon has just gone for a spin. And the yellow flag is out with 90 laps to go. Kevin Harvick has marched from 29th up to the top five, but he said he lost front and rear grip late in the run. They're making a track bar adjustment and air pressure. Doc. Bottoming a screen, Denny Hamlin, points leader, going to go up a half round on the track bar. 13-8 on four tires to losing grip in the right front. Developments here at the Cobalt Tools 500. It is bad news for Kevin Harvick. He came out of pit road fifth, but they were missing a lug nut. He has to come back in. He did it. He's now 19th. Here it is. Last lap on that left rear. And he drops from fifth to 19th. Vince? Well, sometimes, you know, we hear teams lose their composure in situations like this, but not Gil Martin and Kevin Harvick. They kept their cool. They know the championship is on the line, and this is certainly a tough break, but they haven't reached for the panic button. They haven't had a meltdown. Kevin Harvick's got plenty of work to do. Let's see if he can do it. Let's go back and check in on Kevin Harvick. As you can see, he's got lap traffic there, as well as people he is trying to pass for position. He's got himself into here. Paul Menard is a lap down. Sam Hornish is a lap down. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the guy he's trying to get to. That's the car right in front of him for position. And that would be for 18th. But on a spin, the 38 goes around as Travis Quapple. And the yellow is flying again with now 79 laps to go. Caution is out. Caution is out. So you're fine. It's going to be an opportunity now. Kevin Harvick's at the back of the field, and even though they just went a few laps, he can come in and get fuel and make sure that he can make it to the end on fuel. I don't know what these leaders will do because we're inside that window. The last pit stop, they were just on the edge of that, of being able to make it all the way. Some probably could, some not. Well, Kevin Harvick says the car is just not good, especially in traffic where they're mired right now after that lug nut issue. He said it just won't turn, so they're going to go back up on the track bar. Air pressure in both rear tires. It goes green. We can make it from right there. They can't make it either. Better hope for green then. Harvick will restart 16th. Hamlin, of course, up front. Jimmy Johnson in the fourth position. Marty, a couple of issues. As far as the handling first, this is the most difficult issue he's had all day long. He said it's loose in, tight in the center, and loose off. And the worst news from Mike Ford a moment ago, he told his driver, Denny Hamlin, we are 12 laps short on fuel. We cannot make it. Yeah, so you can't save that kind of fuel. That's yeah. what I say. You're not going to go into conservation mode at that point. You just run it out as hard as you can. Hope a caution comes out. If it doesn't, you make a pit stop and hope everybody else has to pit. 
Yeah, we're right there. It shows we ought to make it right there, right to 312. Remember, remember when Harvick had that drop lug nut or that lug nut that was not put on on their pit stop, and he said, we needed to go green. Gil Martin told him we needed to go green all the way to the end, and Harvick said, that's our only chance. Well, it might be coming to fruition. Coming in two laps before he had to, it'll be right side tires and feel for Denny Hamlin. The money stop, maybe the championship stop for this crew. Counting the fuel in now, right side tires going on, can of fuel in, Hamlin down and away. Just a little over seven and a half seconds. Chad Canal staying very calm on the radio. Just told Jimmy, all right, keep it going, stay smooth, turn off all of your fans, and don't use the brakes. Watch him feather the throttle, and let's flash back to Loudon. Remember, Tony Stewart ran out one lap short. Yeah, let's see if Jimmy ever even gets wide open. I don't think we're going to see him get in wide open. Right to stay ahead of that 29, if possible. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a factor. You know, I'll you're going to gain spot. a lot of points on the, the 11, and that's Make your main four concern. To go. Four. Nice and smooth, though. Nice and smooth. Kevin Harvick is now seventh. Jimmy Johnson running sixth. The drama continues to unfold. Five laps to go. Jimmy doing a great job of saving fuel. I'm looking at that throttle price, and it's just staying half throttle or less. In the final lap here, here goes Jeff Burton around. And the big question is, can Jimmy Johnson make it? On fuel. He's kept Kevin Harvick behind him also, watching the battle. Carl Edwards down yeah, in the field. Now it is Montoya again. In front of you, on the bottom. You heard it. Montoya has run out of fuel, but here comes Carl Edwards. He's done it. He swept the weekend. And now, who's going to end up ahead in the chase? There's Jimmy. Here comes Harvick. They're both heading for the strike. And they cross with Johnson in fifth, Harvick in sixth place, Kenza seventh, and Denny Hamlin is limping home after having to make that stop in 12th position. Boy, that's the way they end the street right there. Fast car, good mileage. Woo! All right, we won! We're going down, Captain.